in studio the mayor of the city of Martinsburg, who is also the executive director of the Eastern Panhandle Home Builders Association. His name, Kevin Knowles. Mr. Knowles. Knuckles, how are you? Uh, um, good morning. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. I'm, I'm scared you got me in front of the computer today. Yeah, I'm going to need you to do a little programming, if you don't mind. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> you might not, need an, a, an AED for that if well, I start doing that. There's not too much to ask. <laughs> right? And you brought with you a couple of friends as well. Jennifer Church. Jen, good morning to you. Good morning. Colin Hitt, good to see you again. Good morning. How are you all? Awesome, awesome. We've got a home show coming up in a month and a half here. And I know we're going to have like 70 degree end of March temperatures for this because well, we're due. That's what we, we ordered. We are due. We ordered we are, that, right? We are due, that's for sure. We're, we're owed as much. Uh, what's the progress in this show for this year, uh, Kevin, Colin, and Jennifer? What do we know? How many participants? Jen, well, you want to Everybody stares well, at everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost sold out of booths. No we way. have about five booths left, um, about 20 table spaces left, and lots of advertising opportunities and volunteer opportunities but as far as space goes it is going fast and fastest that i've ever seen in my eight years with the association so what do you um, attribute that to kevin <laughs> yeah <laughs> well you know what she must bu- must be bucking for a raise yeah. <laughs> And you get a raise, and you get a raise. I, you know, I got to tell you, though, Very um, smart this Jennifer. home show does not happen without Jennifer and Colin because these guys put in an awful lot of hard work. They have it down to a T, and, and the, the efforts that you say how fast it goes this this year is because of the efforts. And, and Colin has a book that he puts together. You know, you We're, we're regimented, and, and, and that's going to be something that – if and when Colin leaves that position, that uh, it's going to be hard to fill. And uh, Is there, are there plans to vacate the position, Colin? Uh, potentially. <laughs> it, yeah. Well, you know, he has he has a young he has a yeah. son that plays basketball, and, and we get that. You know, we're, I know you know if we we've all had our children in in sports, and, and it takes a lot of time and effort away from home, especially around the home show. So mm-hmm. we get that. We get that. Yeah, everybody's got to take care of their their kids. Yeah. Yeah. What is a uh, what is a booth run this year? If for a member, it's 600 and for a non-member, 775 Okay. And what about a table? A table is 375 for a member, 425 for a non-member. Can and if you do a sponsorship, you get a booth included in that number. So right now we have silver sponsorships available. That's $1,000. You get the, the booth along with that, So uh, plus all of the advertising that comes with it. Yeah, one of, one of our biggest sponsors is WRNR, and uh, you know we really appreciate the effort that they put in, not only uh, having us here today, but uh, during the show themselves. It, I think last year, Rob, you had some of that cold weather that you were able to do a show on a Saturday and a Sunday. It was invigorating. Oh, it was. It felt great. You know, it's funny because people talk about that weather, and that weather didn't deter the people from coming out because we had. 3,500 to 4,000 people come yeah. through those doors those two days. And, and all the things that they said about uh, the, the having the home show at the Roundhouse, which mm-hmm. is the first year, we just signed a five-year contract to continue with that, was uh, getting there. And, and for all intents and purposes, there was no problems finding the, mm-hmm. the ra- Roundhouse, no problems getting parking because you could utilize all the parking in the city because there's no charging for parking on weekends, and there's uh, three three or four parking lots within walking distance of the station and just come right across. Yeah, a lot of people did that walking option, come across the the, the, the bridge and then down the steps. Yeah, we yeah. also had a shuttle from EPTA that uh, came around in the in the old bus that they have, uh, mm-hmm. that they would stop at every one, one of the uh, uh, parking lots and bring them down. We're going to expand that into two days this year. Can I ask another quick question? What is the phone number that a business would call to uh, get set up for a table or a, a booth, what is what's the phone number? Three zero four two six seven four seven one zero. I'm just making sure that Michelle Terwilliger, who is a friend yeah. of yours, yes. longtime high school friend, who's listening, making sure she takes that down so we can call in today and reserve our spot before Perfect. the spots are done. Jen, go ahead and repeat you. that number because if, if Jen wasn't expecting that or Michelle wasn't expecting that, she wouldn't know to write it down. Here, one more time. Three zero four two six seven. Four seven one zero. Two six seven forty seven ten. There'll be a test when we when I get back to the office. Well, Michelle. I believe also you could do that on our on the on the website or Facebook page. Is yep. that correct? Yeah. EPHomeshow.com. Is Michelle's 
related to the kid that's going to kick the Gannon? For yes, yes, yeah, he signed yesterday. Brent, he's oh, a great, great kid. That's awesome. Is that and, her son? Yeah, that's her son's the oh, kicker. Great. He's so excited, and Gannon is. Gannon's an amazing place. Of course, they've got an indoor facility for football, thankfully, because it's very, very cold and eerie. But he is so excited. He got a he got a gigantic academic scholarship, which oh, is nice great. in that's addition fantastic. to the football because he's a phenomenal kid and student. That's great. Yeah, good um, for him. But yeah, hopefully she wrote the number down, and we will we'll be calling this. Well, we'll, we'll make sure you get the number before you leave, so, uh, and I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Knuckles. Where's my check for the time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, have, gotta have the check. Right. All right. So, uh, will the layup be any different this year than it was last year? Is there anything that uh, has been added to the roundhouse or finished? At this time, it'll be the same layout that we had last year. Mm -hmm. um, in years in the future, hopefully next year, we'll have a additional space that we'll be able to utilize. But for right now, it'll be exact same as last year. Where do you anticipate the additional space coming from? Um, so, if you are familiar with the roundhouse complex, it would be if you're standing at the train station looking across the tracks at the roundhouse, it would be the building to the far left they refer to it as the bridge building um, so there's some work to be done in in that building uh, concrete floor some HVAC potentially an elevator um, so all of that stuff is in the works um, just hasn't been completed yet or even began for that matter so um, yeah we're hoping that we can occupy that third building next year um, and that'll give us a, a substantial amount of space to add to our home show make it that much more successful for everybody attending and for our exhibitors well, and, and you guys should probably charge more for the exhibitors that get in the building that has the hvac system <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> i mean we, we, will, we will take it's that under premium <laughs> hey, i talked to hd boyd yesterday he said he would have his food truck there so yes. i anticipate that means you'll have um, food trucks once again around the area. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I know Mountaineers Meat Smokers has committed. Um, I think it was uh, D's Donuts and Boardwalk Fries. Oh, I love those. Um, Almost Heaven Concessions and Fed Up, which and Fed Up, yeah, which is HD's company. All right, very good. So, give us a rundown of the. the well, type I'm of sorry. One, o one other, yeah, one other one too that we're we're really trying to get because we want to work closely with James Rumsey, you know, because being the technical and. and construction and everything so they have a a wonderful food truck also that uh that we're looking to hopefully have them at the home show and get them integrated so that some of their students could be down there and meet some of the people in the, in the building industry very nice okay so give me an idea of the spectrum of people who will be at the home show vending so to speak sure so it'll be uh uh, you know anything related to owning a home buying a home selling a home or renovating a home so we usually see uh, you know kitchen and bathroom contractors landscapers um, insurance agents realtors uh, banks and lenders um, you know we have some more specialty folks that do you know plumbing and electrical um, you know I Trying to think, uh, maybe some paving companies. Uh, Jen, you've seen the applications. Uh, what am I missing here? Um, builders. Builders. Okay. Yes, yeah, just general contractors. Um, anybody? Anything else? Garage doors. Garage doors. Um, yeah, any, anything that, really that, that anything that you walk into your house, your garage that you see that would you would need to either build, remodel, or or, or fix up. That's that's what you're going to see there. Are you doing drawings again this year? Grand prizes and things like that. There is. Yeah, uh, Pine Creek Structures is our uh, diamond sponsor again this year. So there will be a door prize that they give away an outdoor patio set. Um, so that uh, is something that everybody that's attending should be sure to register for. Um, we'll have a, a designated location where you can sit, your, put your uh, registration slip, if you will, and uh, then we'll be doing the drawing after the show. Yeah, and, so, and for those individuals that, that may not be able to afford a table or afford a uh afford having people there for the weekend we do have a silent auction and, and we, we're accepting any any donations to that silent auction so that they could put their nameplate as to what item that is uh when when we're auctioning that off so that that's going to be going on all weekend so any any donations that anybody has any business has for a silent auction we we welcome that and the number is jen three zero four Two six seven four seven one zero. There you go. They say you have to say it three times for people to remember. So, uh, there's our third time. Can we run it one more because I missed it for a third time. <laughs> third? You mean like an eighth time? Two six seven forty seven ten. 
Perfect. 267 4710. 304 267 4710. Make a singing jingle out of that if you can. Yeah. 267 4710. My phone's going to go nuts today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. Everybody call that what number now. <laughs> Just call and say hi. All at once. Well, and call I, that and number I, now. And I don't know if our listeners caught it earlier, but they are running out of spots because it's very, very popular. So if you are a business and wants to get in, with a booth or a table or a silent, I mean, silent auction, I'm sure they can accept many, but if you want to get in with a booth or a table, you better do it as soon as possible because you don't want to get shut out because this is a, I go every year, it's a phenomenal event, it's a lot of fun, you see a lot of people and you get a lot of great ideas as you just, I mean, I've noticed just wandering around the home show and you look and you see the different booths and you see what the different vendors have and you go, wow, that would look, I've never thought of that, I've never thought of doing that to my house, I've never thought of doing this. I mean, it's 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 a phenomenal. It's just it's a great community thing, and it's at that amazing building, the Roundhouse. Well, you're you're right, and it and it 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 shows everything that we have, going with my other hat, everything going on with the city of Martinsburg and and all the beautiful things that we have for that weekend. You know, there are there's events going on the weekend before last last year, the uh, St. Patrick's Day celebration was in the 70s. And then the week after, you know, we were in our 30s and some Snowing. with the wind, it was probably in, in the teens. But I just texted with Robbie Blair yesterday. When is the St. Patty's? Uh, it's uh, March 18th. So it'll uh, be the week before. It's the week before. So, yeah. you know, this is the second year that I've had an opportunity to work putting it together. Last year, I kind of just sat back and watched these two go at it because they're, they're very good at what they do. And this year, I've, I've gotten a little bit more involved to be able to make this happen but uh, i i can't tell you the hard work that goes into this from not just uh, these two here but volunteers that we have we have a, a local boy scout troop that's going to be helping with the uh, the parking this year last year last year i was uh, involved in the parking it gets a little bit of tedious every once in a while so you got good at backing up into spaces though when you were valet parking for people <laughs> last year right? and, and and think about the tips listen i don't want to talk about you got that a pocket full of cash did out somebody of did somebody say something <laughs> i like that you know i was gonna say kevin they got backup cameras you don't have to put your arm over the seat and do that thing with the steering wheel anymore you still do it anyway. old school baby he's old school yeah old that's habits a die hard I was say that's a great point, Kevin. Um, if anybody in the community, if you you know can't be involved financially, if you have time that you can give to volunteer, we are always looking for volunteers. We can never have enough hands there at the roundhouse or at the home show. So um, yeah, just give the phone number call three zero four two six seven forty seven ten. And everybody uh, call now. And uh, we have a volunteer sign up sheet that we have started. Uh, so we'll definitely get you down. And you know if it's an hour, if it's two hours, that's fine. If it's four or five hours that's even better so you know don't hesitate if you can give any time that's great is there someone in the office right now who is just getting all of these phone calls while no one else is there and really hates all of us all the calls are being forwarded to jen's cell phone right oh now. okay that's, is that why my phone is buzzing because <laughs> oh, my, my, on the answer machine it gives my number you get this, you get this <laughs> let, me, let me ask a quick question about the the saint patrick's day celebration do we have that due to the ethnic derivation of our mayor is that why we have a, a big St. Patrick's Day? I think it's amazing. I love St. Patrick's Day. Please answer it in an accented form. Please. Yes. Why did, did someone say something? <laughs> is, is someone asking? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, that was a that was a, a plan by Robbie Blair. Uh, he and I did talk, and, you know, it's very nice that, uh, you know, I have a my Irish background. You know it very well. I mean, I, um, my family comes from County Mayo and County Donegal, and, and um, you know, one of these days we're going to, we're going to bring over uh, somebody from Ireland to to be able to take part in that, and and I'm excited about that. Because when I go, I stay at someone's house in Wicklow County, and you know I'd be more than happy to let them stay in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we got a pond out back, the pool, but no, no, we've got a pond out back. <laughs> I have a, a contractor who is off the boat Irish. And you can't understand us. He speaks English, but you can't understand a, sp a single word that he says until you've been around him for yeah, a while. They all speak English. Yeah, they don't, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then he'll he'll tell like a joke. He'll, he's got a great sense of humor, but it's it's very dry, very slow. So he'll say it, and then your brain has to translate what he just said. And then you have to look at the expression on his face to realize that that's supposed to be funny. <laughs> well, it's funny you, you say that. Because I, you know, I lived in Ireland, mm -hmm. and um, you know, for the first couple of weeks, it was like they so fast the way they, the, the way they talk, and and then all of a sudden, you know, it was just kind of 
rolled off my tongue that way. And, and I remember when my wife would come over and she goes, I can't understand anything they're saying. <laughs> That's why well, you're not here long enough, but we can stay here as long as you want. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you're, and you're not a young person. When I was a wee lad. A wee lad, a wee lad in the Glen. When I was a wee lad. Uh, back to the home show. Uh, the environment for builders right now, what kind of feedback are... Are you getting contractors, builders? A couple of years ago, if you wanted something done, it was going to take a long time and cost a lot of money. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of contractors right now are having trouble finding help. Um, so depending on the scale of the project or the scope of the project, um, you know, that might be a little more time consuming or a little bit further out. Um, we have seen some improvements to lumber pricing. Uh, materials, uh, getting materials in. There was a huge inventory shortage there for a while. Um, so that's starting to come back. Um, at least at this point, uh, the contractors are aware of what they can get or what might be more difficult to get. Um, so I think things are improving, in my opinion. Uh, Kevin, you know, Kevin and I both are involved with the uh, State of West Virginia Home Builders Association. So he can maybe yeah, talk we, a little more we too. Are, we are very fortunate here in the Eastern Panhandle. We hold um, about half or more of the membership throughout the state. And we have oh. not, during any of, any of the slowdowns that we've seen throughout the nation or throughout the, the, the state, we have not really seen a slowdown. Uh, we've been moving along. We've, some of the builders have gotten savvy as far as how to get their materials, where to get the materials. They've been savvy to, to, to be able to work around the, the, the manpower aspect of things. Actually, some of them are actually working together to make things happen. But um, we have not, uh, I have not heard of any, any slowdown based on any of the uh, mortgage rates or anything like that. We still have, the, uh, I think it's a good time to buy. The inventory is starting to, to back up a little bit, but we don't expect anything to, to slow down at this point. What are well, they telling you in regards to home improvement projects and such? You get any kind of feedback? Well, uh, the there's more uh, more more people now looking to do home improvements more than they are to 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 build. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're seeing people who own homes, older homes, looking to do more projects these days. Yeah, and part of that's because there's not a lot of inventory of existing homes available for sale right now. So people are finding new ways to renovate their existing residents. Um, or at the same time, we also have seen the need for new construction. So a lot of the builders that are building here locally, uh, they're continuing to build and, and putting them up left and right, and the homes are selling just as fast as they can get them completed. And that's coming from a mortgage broker, so <laughs> he, would, he would know. He would. Well, and, and getting back to what you said at the beginning, Colin, that they're builders that are having difficulty uh, finding workers. Yeah. Our, for, our first segment today was with a woman that's working with the, the Senate on the new uh, work with Workforce West Virginia and unemployment. She says there are 13,000 people unemployed in West Virginia. I don't know if builders call into workforce and say, hey, we've got jobs. Maybe workforce can help hook them up with people who are trades tradespeople who know what they're doing or people who want to become. Well, you know, that's interesting. I, I mean, we've uh, I've used workforce in other capacities for different things. I've, I've not even I have not given that uh, a thought. Well, then maybe you're buying my lunch. I, I think I always do buy your lunch, but oh. if you insist, okay. hey, lunch bought by someone else is better. <laughs> lunch bought by a friend is better than lunch bought by yourself. That should be on a T-shirt. It does taste better when somebody else is paying for it. Not gonna lie. Yeah, not gonna lie. Uh, the home show is March the twenty-fifth and twenty-sixth. Uh, the hours the home show will be open this uh, year. It'll be uh, ten a.m. to six p.m. on Saturday the twenty-fifth, and then ten a.m. to four p.m. on Sunday the twenty-sixth. Uh, and the silent auction will close at the conclusion of the show at 4 p.m. on that, that Sunday, the 26th. Did you have much unused space last oh, year no, at the home show? Because no. I don't remember seeing a lot of empty no. areas. There was no, no, there, we were actually putting people in as we got there. So that being our first show, uh, you know, there we... You know, we had to figure out the space and everything. Actually, today we're going down there because I think we found I think we found two extra spaces that we're going to probably utilize where they had next to the train there that was all stuff that was backed up. They, they've cleaned it out much better. It's a mm -hmm. it's a lot clearer these days. So we might have actually gained a, an extra couple spaces, but every there was there wasn't an empty spot in those in those two buildings. Will you be fitting more vendors in the same amount of space this year? It'll be about the same number of vendors that we had last year. Um, as Kevin mentioned, we, we think we have a couple more spots that we can fill up. Um, but at this time, yeah, it's, it's about the same number of, uh, of vendors from 2022. Did you have many people outside 
yeah, last year? Uh, we Besides had a few. the food trucks? Yeah, I mean, we had a, a few uh, landscapers and har- uh, folks that do like hardscapes and things right. like that. Um, Who build their stuff right there for the weekend on the scene, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, some of the folks that we typically would have outside uh, because of the, the high ceilings and whatnot in the roundhouse, they actually move their displays indoors. Um, so that actually kind of freed some space up outside as well. But um, yeah, we're anticipating about the same as, as last year. Is there? I don't remember the grounds well enough to know. Is there room to expand outside? There's plenty of room outside. Yes. There's plenty of space outside. I don't so know how yes. much that was dedicated to parking or not. Yeah, I mean, um, kind of the, the around the roundhouse, there's a fence on the exterior uh, property line. That's where we usually try to park the cars. Um, but up close to the building itself, we have plenty of room. So if you're if you're driving to the premises, if you're a vendor, what is the best way to get to the roundhouse? which last year I tried to do for the first time as a driver, as opposed to walking across the bridge. And I remember driving around on Friday for like an hour going, I give up, I don't know how to get to this place. Before <laughs> well, I, I finally got someone told me the trick. The best I could tell somebody is, uh, is Moeller Avenue to High Street, High Street to Liberty, Liberty takes you right into it. And that's the end of that, that mystery. But the, the, the good thing is that what we have is we've hired a company uh, that did it last year to put directional signs out. So, um, awesome. They should not. Have, there, there wasn't a problem last year. We don't anticipate a problem this year. But the, the simple way that, that I tell people go up, go up Moeller off of off of Queen Street, make a right on High, take High to Liberty, make a right, take takes you right into it. Can you get? Is that Pennsylvania as you're, as you're going down Queen before you get to the, uh, yes. the underpass? You take the left on Pennsylvania. That also does it. Yeah. Any right. any way you could get up to High Street. Yeah. I think that's how I did it last year. Yeah, and, and the other thing would be just if you wanted to park at the train station itself and walk across the walking bridge, you know, that's definitely yeah, that's, a, that's definitely an me- easier way maybe. Um, but if someone is uh, requires uh, handicap accessibility or something like that, we will have handicap accessible spaces up close to the roundhouse itself. So they should come in the Liberty Street direction. Are the parking meters off on Saturdays in Martinsburg? Yes, there's no, they are. no charge for parking on Saturdays and Sundays in the city of Martinsburg. Well, hopefully we have a, you know, a 60 degree day. You can park downtown, walk across the bridge well they were they were doing that they were doing that in the 30 degree weather so that that would be something we're hoping to have the 60 because we're we're there i stay over three four nights i I put my camper in the back just to make sure everything's okay and 